Universal's Boom Pink Petals Dancing in the Breeze Japan is in full bloom I return back home After long years in England Greeted by breathtaking beauty The season of pink Brings joy to all who witness And I'm happy to be here this season Ha ha! How about this poem? Woo! Chat GPT! It's incredible, right? Hello! I'm Angrawaki, a Japanese fishing enthusiast based in the United States. In early April, during my children's short spring break, I visited my home country with my family. It was the season of Hanami. When the cherry blossoms bloom and people gather under the trees, toast, eat, and celebrate. You know, drinking in public places is not illegal in Japan. Sounds as crazy as ChatGPT is, right? <laughs> Daytime outdoor drinking for certain events is a part of our cultural tradition. Although, I do not recommend trying it without knowing the context. Be careful. During my trip to Japan, I hit a taco shop and splurged on some cool fishing gear, leaving my wallet feeling light. <laughs> In this video, I will show you what made my wallet flattened. Let's go! This time, I bought a couple of bait reels brought back to the United States. The first one needs Bait Finesse Reel Diver Alphas Air T-Wing A 2020 model I know, I know, Diver Japan is coming out with a new SS Air very soon. Some of you might argue that I should have waited for it. But this reel has been there in my mind for a long time. I could not resist getting it. I've used an old Alphas Air, a 2016 model. It still works fine. A really good reel, but it's old enough. It should be time to try another one. Can't wait to hit the field with this new reel. The next one is Daiwa Tatura 8.0 2020 new model Compact and lightweight I love fishing jack baits I've been looking for a reel for it Lightweight and easy to palm Then I found this cool reel Checking out the spec This can be satisfying my needs Actually, I thought of Shimano reels too. But when I permed this reel at the shop, something told me, Wacky, this is it! <laughs> so about this. Ooh, cool. I'm excited.
。OK， what's next？ Raid Japan head swimmer liberal。A Japanese rule brand raid of Japan, led by Takashi Kanamori. They have great rules on their shelves and also are very good at media promotion and have many followers. I watched their YouTube video and this rule caught my attention. This model is, I guess, the heaviest weight model. Head swimmer river is a bass fishing lure, but I got this home my saltwater fishing. Looks promising for spotted waves fishing, right? I like a weed bird. It's a nice feature to fish in an eel grasses area, which often stocks quality fish. As you may know, I love Gary Yamamoto custom baits. I have many videos on my channel introducing Japan exclusive Gary Yamamoto worms. This is one of them. Angry Stick by Gary International. This looks perfect for any finesse rigs. I know people in Japan use this for small bass bass fishing. Unfortunately, I cannot find any small bass lakes in Southern California, so I will use this for larges or saltwater bass like spotted bay bass. This product has two versions: salting and non-salt. Checking out the product ID. This one looks like a non-salt. Hmm, non-salt. Ideally, I'd like to have a saltwing gary material one, but it's okay. Summer is coming around. We should start chasing bedfish in the upper range. Then non-salt material can be a better choice. Look, look, woo! This must be a great way to hold my ultralight spinning tackles and my bait fitness system. Weightless wacky rig may be interesting. Drop shot rig would also be a perfect fitting. Or weightless Texas rigging, but putting a small nail weight in the body. Oh yeah. This also should be good for the strolling technique. This is also from Gary Yamamoto, Mokuri Crow, produced by Japanese top bass pro Tsuguhiko Komori. I believe the name Mokuri Crow comes from his family name, Komori. He's been the strongest bass pro in the Japan Bass Pro Tour these years. And he's been with Gary Yamamoto Bates for long years. He has given many lectures to us how to fish Gary International rules on the media like magazines and videos. I like the shape of this lure. For crow type baits, I personally prefer using a lure with chunky arms to lures with flat wavy claws. This is just my personal preference. I also have some of my favorite flat-armed crow baits, though. 
I got this for my saltwater jelly fishing. Rigging with Texas rig. This bait for sure will bring me luck. Look at these green packages. They are rules by Issei. Issei is a rubber brand that produces Haruhiko Murakami design rules. Haruhiko Murakami is a very famous rule owner in Japan. He is not a tournament pro, but has tons of enthusiastic horrors. He has been introducing lots of epoch-making gear and techniques like drop shot rig and neck rig. He is working with Daiwa, producing Daiwa's high-end bass fishing brand line, Heartland Road Series. I recently started trying Issei's lure. Yeah, I got it. I get the reason why people go crazy with their words. It's really unique and well engineered. Uniqueness in the product design is awesome, but it sometimes brings pain. There are many copy clones of their products. The most what the hell clone product is Berkeley Powerbait Gilly which is obviously a copy of Issei's huge hit product, Issei Gilfrat. I have no idea why Barclay always makes this kind of disappointing behavior. Such a big brand should have a big R&D budget than a small brand like Issei. Anyway, Caramel Shad. The shad is covered with skins like caramel candy. Japanese caramel candy has a knobby surface. This lure has skins like it. I love shadow shape worms, honestly say. This one does not look like my type. I love a little bit more skinny shape. But after watching some videos on YouTube, I decided to try this. Anglers use this wall with a nail rig. The body itself has enough weight being able to be used by bait caster. Hope this brings me huge luck. Oh yeah, this is G-Crack Emo Ripper. These days, heavyweight sinking worms have got popular in Japan. Almost all brands now line up such products. We have two types in this genre. Emo type and insect type. For Emo type, Gary Yamamoto Emo Grab and Depth's Cover Skirt would be the most popular. Insect type, Issei Shizumi Mushi would be the most selling. This one is Emo type. No arms and legs. The rear heavyweight body will give us a casting distance. I believe I have a bigger size one in my tackle box purchased from Tackle Warehouse. But this one, 70mm, looks much more versatile. I got it. Okay, okay, this is Sawamura One-Up Shad. I found this in a tackle shop in my hometown, Chiba. Looks really, really neat, right? 
Sawamura is a lure brand by Japanese legendary bass pro Yukihiro Sawamura. One Up Shad is classified as a classic masterpiece in Japanese bass fishing history. The body has a thin waist just in the middle. It will make the body naturally wave in the water when we retrieve it. From this angle, it could look like a K-Tech EG Shiner, but the body actually is much chubby than EG Shiner. I have never used this lure, but looks like a well-balanced great shadow tail minnow. Since this has been many Japanese bass anglers' confidence bait whole years, I'm sure this purchase was worth making it. Plus, Japanese saltwater anglers also use this lure for Japanese flounder and flathead. I'll use this for both freshwater and saltwater. I found this at the sale corner. Hide up, stagger, 2.5 inches. When I found it, I said, wow! And when I noticed, this package had already been in my shopping bag. <laughs> Month ago, I tried stagger for saltwater fishing. It worked great! A soft body is a bit fragile to use saltwater sharp tooth predators, but I think I could repair the torn body using warm glue. 2.5 inches will work nicely with a small jig head. I think this one is a great bait for my kids to use for early summer bass fishing. Kogier Vagans. Kogier is a lure brand run by Maruku, the Japanese biggest fishing bait company. Kogier Vagans is known as a great software for the saltwater rockfish game. Checking out the package. This one, green gloss oil color, is produced by Yuichi Sato. He's an expert angler based in Tohoku, the northern part of Japan. From freshwater to saltwater, he's been producing many years working with Japanese fishing brands like Tenryu. Anyway, this green color looks marvelous. This must be able to be a killer bait in California saltwater too. Japan is surrounded by the ocean. Saltwater fishing is as popular as freshwater fishing. Plenty of species are listed as sports fishing targets, meaning many anglers and many fishing lures. Check this out. All metal jigs and metal jig wall. How all saltwater wanglers can't stop excited, right? I decided to pick up one for my future video. Mm, but everything looks awesome. Tough to pick up one from them. After long minutes of consideration, I picked up this. It's safe. 
海太郎魚魚スピン海太郎 is a saltwater brand line it say produces 30 grams tail spin jig Megamas Makipa also looked great but this time I decided to purchase Issei Look at this face Anchovy Tasty anchovy Any predators love A narrow blade at the tail with a single hook In general These types of bait have a knowing issue Tailing A line gets tangled with a rear hook A single hook idea seems interesting When summer comes and if schools of bonito come along to the shoreline This lure will be a great option This is Jackson Freak Set, a really unique saltwater jig head. This type of lure, a jig head plus worm combo, is popular in Japan for saltwater surf lure anglers. Major craft, duo, daiwa, lots of makers have this type of flounder flathead lure. This one is unique compared to other products. We can use this lure in two ways. The head has two eyes. Using the eye on the plate, the lure swims like chatter waves. Using the eye on the head, we can use this lure as a standard jig head. Unlike regular jig heads, the hook is a single treble hook placed below the belly, attached by a long swivel. Woohoo! Very neat! I should try this lure, but would need to be careful not to have rough bottom touches. Don't want to lose this by being snagged. Japanese tackle shop has great selections of terminal tackles. Maybe this is our culture. We tend to pay attention to detail. We have so many variations of terminal tackles in many sizes. We also have tons of unique gear which are not found in the United States. If you come to Japan and shop tackle shops, I think you'll be confused since many of those items would be new to you. You may have no idea how to use it. What are they for? Anyway, this time I only purchased jig heads. One for saltwater fishing, another one is for freshwater bass fishing. This is Aona Cultiva Shizuka Head, a classic standard jig head for Japanese sea bass anglers. Affordable price but fine quality. Jig head are often snagged and lost. Price does matter as well as quality. This is for bass fishing, specifically for the strolling technique, which is popular in Japan. I love the strolling technique. I'm not yet an expert in it, but I've caught some quality fish using it. Probably soon I will upload a mid-strolling bass fishing video. 
Please keep your eye on my channel if you are interested. This small lightweight jig head. It's very hard to find in the United States. Oh, since I bought new reels, I need a fishing line to spool it. For my new Alpha CRT wing, let's have this. Sugar, R18, 7 pounds. For the fluorocarbon line, my go-to choice is Sugar. Sugar has been used by rockshore ISO fishing experts for long years. I'd say it's proven. By the way, like other brands, Seeger has a different product line between Japan and the United States. This one needs JDM and is not a high-end product, but it's still fine. 160 meter means at least two spools I can have from this one bobbin. If you've subscribed to my channel, you may have noticed I always wear gloves when I fish. Gloves and glasses are must-have fishing items for me. Without gloves, I would be too nervous to fish, since this has been my practice for years long. If I left my sunglasses at home, I'll wrap up my fishing day and go home straight. Both are really important years for our safety. I had a bad experience like tumbling down to the water. It ended up giving my legs four stitches. Such a big trouble, but with gloves, I could grab tightly the wet, slippery rocks could pull my body up from the water. If you don't wear both, I'd recommend you take them on now. These red and black Team Daiwa gloves look cool. <laughs> Ah, I cannot forget this. I was asked by my son. Daddy, please buy some stinky baits for pure fishing. Barkley Gulf is popular for it. I think many of you have used it. We have similar baits in Japan, which are sold by Marukyu. Sandworm is called Gokai or Isome in Japan. Power Isome is a Marukyu version of Gulf Sandworm. Both air stinky, but Power Isome's flavor is a little milder than Gulf. It still stinks, but they added a blueberry scent so that it's not that bad like Gulf Wicked. Ah, I found another interesting bait. Power Club. Hmm, this must be an interesting bait for saltwater jetty fishing. A right spinning tackle with a small jig head like crappy jig heads. Putting this cute stinky crab on it. Drifting it in the current. Open eye. Sago, Suffrage, I guess they would love this. Oh yeah, another stinky bait was found. 
エコギアアクア I believe this is a nudging bait Japanese horse mackerel fishing In the past, people fished them using a sabiki rig with charming But now, anglers use a special ultralight lure tackle to catch them Sabiki rig is much more effective But the Japanese love a more technical approach to catching fish. I believe this kind of insane idea only the Japanese can come up with. <laughs> hey, this one looks super duper stinky. My son would be happy with this. I got many items. Actually, I have more. But for today, let me wrap up. Too many items. Then the serious problem is I don't have time to use them. <laughs> One thing I'd like to share with you this is a very important thing I want to tell you. I own many JDM tackles I bought in Japan or directly from Japan. I'd say all those JDM gear would not be able to get an official service from the US retailers. I mean, neither Daiwa USA nor Shimano USA will provide maintenance services. Since they are Japan exclusive products, I have received some inquiries asking me to help repair their purchases. But I'm sorry, I cannot be a help. Since this is a kind of private import on self responsibility, please note this point. Purchase those products on your responsibility and enjoy fishing. See you. Bye bye.